Thank you everyone who made it here tonight. Um, I appreciate it. I know it is ridiculously cold outside. And you know, this is like an introvert's like dream. Like nice and cold, want to be home. So I appreciate that you all came out here tonight, especially to hear us all talk. Um, so I want to say first, hi, I'm Babs. Hey and I'm curious. So what does that mean? Um, I am just like deeply curious about everything and anything. And some of the things that um, have emerged over the past 40 years that I've been on this earth is that I'm really super curious about people, I'm super curious about culture, and I'm super curious about technology and how all three of those things kind of play together and um, shape and change each other. So um, that kind of brought me to Panama. Like this is kind of like this wonderful space where people who are geeking out in all these different areas get to come together and talk and share their ideas and inspire the community, which I think is deeply important. And I really think that it needs to continue in Philadelphia because, you know, I love Philadelphia and I want to be here forever. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, so jumping off of that, I'm just going to give you um, mostly just like a history and of who I am and how I kind of got here. Um, I don't really consider myself a tech kind of person. However, I am a UX strategist at um, Vanguard right now, and I'll tell you how I kind of made my way over. So ever since I was like a little girl, I have always been really interested in art. I've been interested in art, I've been interested in storytelling. I like to just illustrate my favorite books page by page, just to kind of like get that idea across. Um, and then I've also been exposed to technology without even like really, really realizing it and never really thinking about it. It was always in the background. So I kind of took for granted that I'm like booting up like my first computer in DOS and like putting all these things in when I'm like six years old. You know, um, I took for granted that I was working on like one of the first um, desktop publishing programs, which is called like Jingle Disk, which was put out as like, <laughs> which was put out as like a favor and um, printing out my own Christmas cards and like handing that out to friends and family. Um, as my, and most importantly, is the aspect of psychology. So one of the things that I was always really interested in is how to tell people the right exact thing so that they'll do what I want them to do. So this has been like, these three things have been themes throughout my entire life. And we'll kind of like fast forward to high school, like I was, somehow ended up on um, the yearbook group, so I ended up publishing, so I'm back into desktop publishing, and not even thinking about the technology behind it, but just like the idea that like it's always there. And even though I don't think of myself as a technologist, I'm always using it. So I think people need to be more comfortable with saying that, yeah, I do technology. Um, so moving forward even into uh, college years, I spent my undergrad at Drexel University, right down the road, um, I focused on graphic design, and I swore that I was not going to do the internet. <laughs> I am going to be a graphic designer, and all I do is print, which is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so I did start. I did start there, and it is what kind of pushed my passion of communicating ideas as clearly as possible to the user. Um, one of my favorite things about graphic design is like. The best graphic design is unnoticed, completely unnoticed. You all, all you're doing is interacting with the idea, and that is it. You don't even go, oh, that's really great typography. Oh, somebody picked out a really great picture. It just kind of comes together and is in the background and informs you. So after college, I jumped into a marketing job. Now, it's not the sexiest job. It is not the most loved job. It was direct mail. Everybody hates it. <laughs> but this is another opportunity where I'm bumping up against technology again. Um, in the sense that, you know, when I first started in direct mail, it started becoming much more personalized based on the data and information that you all have provided marketing companies. So we started leveraging that data. So that was like the beginning of big data. So as much as I didn't want to be involved in technology, it's pulling me more and more in every day. So using direct mail as a, as a launching pad, um, I started handling uh, more complex 
campaigns. So this like stretches across all kinds of different channels. So instead of just like focusing on what can I say to this person in this in this letter to get them to do what I want them to do, it stretches across all channels. So we start talking more um, in how the letter informs the email, how the email informs the social media, and how all of these things work together to get you to do the things that you want to do. Now, I worked at this marketing company for 14 years. It was an incredibly wonderful experience. Um, I learned a lot, but deep down I was really sad because I'm trying to convince a whole bunch of people to do things that I don't really believe in. So, <laughs> one of the great things um, that going back to school has given me um, I went back to uh, Jefferson University and discovered that there's this thing called a user experience. So this helps me align what people's goals are with what business goals are to make everybody happy. So it's a win-win situation. Um, I moved into uh, user experience and I am currently a UX strategist at Vanguard. And one of the things that I like about this is that I really, really deeply believe what their mission is. They are really interested in making investing accessible to everyone and to make everybody's financial future. So one of the things that I find important is for companies to become more and more aligned with what we should be doing culturally, like supporting each other and like moving forward and making it more of a win-win situation for everybody. So how does all this information like tie back into Panama? Ultimately, what I really think it is is just the idea that you know, culture, people, um, and technology shape each other, and the way we can move and flow and change each other is really, really important. And I really think it's important to have this platform, which is Panama in general. So awesome, and I'm so happy to be here. Thanks, guys. All right.